Good morning to all of you. Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sunkara. Right. Video number 2035. In this video, we are going to discuss One Nation, One Health Policy. Very recently brought by the Union of India. But it has actually caused uproar in the minds of the so-called modern medicine or allopathy doctors. Therefore, they filed a red petition against the so-called One Nation, One Health policy of uh, the Union of India. Now, of course, the decision is not yet arrived, but the Supreme Court has given notices to Union of India and others uh, to take a decision. But important uh, legal points are involved. Therefore, I am making this video. You can read the case as Association of Medical Consultants, that is AMC, Mumbai. Association of Medical Consultants, Mumbai versus Union of India and others in red petition number civil 157 by 2022 dated 19-9-2022 right this matter has come before the two judges bench of Justice Hemant Gupta and Sudhanshu Dulia actually the main grouse against the Union of India is the amendment and the formation of the new acts. So what are they? The provisions of National Commission for Indian System of Medicine Act 2022. National Commission for Indian System of Medicine Act. Second, National Commission for Homeopathy Act 2020 and amendment to Indian Medicine Central uh, Central Council, Indian Medical Central Council within brackets PG Ayurveda Education Rules 2016. So, they all these things uh, they have been introduced in 2020. So, basing on uh, the central government's decision to integrate the different kinds of medicine. So, to integrate the different kinds of medicines with the system of the modern medicine that is allopathy. You may be doing Ayush, allopathy, yoga, yunani and systematic medicine, all these things, Ayush, uh, homeopathy, right? So many, all these things are there. This is a separate department. Ayush is the department. So somebody prescribes allopathy, Ayurveda, somebody prescribes the so-called yunani. I have gone, my, one of my friends, uh, Dr. Raj Kumar, he is a practicing Yunani doctor in government hospital uh, opposite to collectorate in Ungol. Yunani doctor, you know, homeopathy doctor, Gordon Rock, so many people are there. So now the government under One Nation, One Health policy, so they wanted uh, these Ayush doctors also to practice modern medicine because in the basic study, even though they study Ayurveda, they study Hopio, BHMS, or they study Yunani, definitely they know the pathology, they know the constitution of the body, they can do the basic or first aid. So why don't they go for a step more and do the simple surgeries? This is the important and that means they can practice as an allopathic doctor. This is the intention of the government of India under one nation and one health system. But these AMC, Association Medical, they say that it is nothing but mixopathy or crosspathy. It is, they are criticizing like this. How can an IV doctor conduct a surgery? This is the main problem. So please remember the contention or the arguments on behalf of the AMC. It states that the nature of the injury caused by the practice of medical surgery by the Irish doctors, it is definitely grave. And if any serious repercussion is there, they will and the entire medical fraternity will be blamed. It is nothing but de-geopardizing the right to life of each and every individual as per Article 21 of the Constitution of India. This is their condition. That means uh, the persons, no doubt, we have to agree, allopathy, no doubt, even I support uh, Ayurveda, Dhanvantari, I support Ayurveda, Dhan Ayurveda, but uh, at the same time I can't avoid allopathy because it's a medical, uh, proved latest medical science. We know that the allopathy gives you the soothing experience or uh, the pain will be alleviated immediately but not cured totally. Ayurveda, yes, it will uh, aggravate the situation, ultimately it will uh, completely cure the so-called pain. 
but still we are in a fast mood we want immediate relief therefore we go to the modern medicine of course modern medicine is also definitely surgeries beautiful surgeries are being done and uh, they are transplanting one uh, heart in the place of another definitely we can't find fault with them but the interest of the government you have to understand that they can do the basic surgery because also because they are also trained in the same path if they are given more training or uh, I think uh, yes if they are they can be trained to perform surgeries and it will be useful that is the intention of the government but allopathy doctor they say no and they have cited a provision also section 15 of the Indian Medicine Act 1956 they prohibits the so called Irish doctors to practice modern medicine and please remember normally AMC contains that if the so called RMP doctors, if the so called Irish doctors are allowed to conduct surgery, so definitely it will lead to quackery and pseudoscience by immunizing them from any legal consequence or liability. Yes, normally, suppose if any nurse conducts the so called uh, miscarriage operation and if it fails, she is liable for punishment under section 312 of the Indian Penal Code. But if it is now, it is done by an Irish doctor, if the life is gone, normally you can't find for him because he is expected to do the so called surgery because now he is authorized. So this is the main problem. But still, there are judgments in favor of uh, the conducting of operation by Aish doctors also. Or Sintil Kumar versus State 2022. Or Sintil Kumar versus the State 2022. I think uh, this is a Madras High Court judgment. So please remember, actually a homeo doctor, he practiced modern medicine and there is some reaction. Therefore, the police filed a case against him. The FIR was quashed. Because, please remember, the advice was also given by the Honorable Madras High Court. Irish doctors may be trained in allopathy medicine, but not exclusively, not totally. They can do the basic surgeries. So, this is the suggestion given by the Madras High Court. But anyway, it is a controversial topic. AMC says the Irish doctor should not be allowed to conduct any surgery. And government says one nation, one health policy. If they are trained, they can also perform the basic surgeries. We don't know what the Supreme Court will decide. Anyway, notices were given to the other parties, that is the Union of India. So uh, I will tell you after the decision given by the Honorable Supreme Court of India in this. But the contents, please remember. See, National Commission for Indian System of Medical Act 2020, National Commission for Homeopathy Act 2020. So, Indian Medicine Central Council Regulations 2016, Section 15 of the IM Act, Article 21 of the Constitution of India. So many legal provisions we have discussed in this video. So, please, if you don't uh, find time, uh, hear the video once again, or if you find time, please see the provisions. What the sections say, what the act say, what is the intention of the government behind One Nation, One Health Policy. Definitely, you will appreciate the legal consequences. Okay, with this, I am stopping. Thank you very much.